Adonai Yeshua took me to see my dad and Muhammad in hell while I was still a Muslim. My name is Rio Fermanzia. My father is from Padang and my mother is from Palembang. After believing in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, my name became Philippus Rio Fermanzia. I was baptized in the Indonesian Tiberius Church by Rev. Yesaya Periyaji, on May 10, 2012. In June 2011, I had the spiritual experience of meeting Adonai Yeshua, who Muslims know as Isa al Masih. I want to share my testimony. I used to be a Muslim and as a Muslim, I observe the Sharia and its commandments. I always pray five times a day including the Tahajud night prayers. I do not forget the zakat payment made annually for charitable and religious purposes and fitra the state of purity and innocence Muslims believe all humans to be born with and obligatory fasting in the month of Ramadan and fasting on other days. I did all these things with all my heart. From my kindergarten, my parents always taught me to read the Quran. My father passed away in 2007. My mother managed all the household matters until all the children grew up and went to high school. In June 2011 between 2 a.m. to 5 a.m., I saw a person who was clad in white robes and was shining with a glorious glow from heaven. He was approaching me and he was very handsome and had long hair. Two others were behind him, on his right and left. He said to me, Rio, follow me. I heard that voice three times in my ears and the Adonai Yeshua's hand had a hole in it. And then I grabbed Adonai Yeshua's hand, and my spirit came out of my body so that my spirit floated in the air. I flew onto the sky until I came out of the earth. I looked down on the earth and saw a lot of flames were surrounding the earth. I continued until I came to a place where a very large palace was shining and the streets were sparkling gold. Diamonds, stones, leaves all made of diamonds and the glory of Adonai was there and there were many people in white robes and I saw a lot of angels and saints who lived in heaven. I said to the Lord, 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 I want to go to the palace. The Lord replied, your place is not there. I saw a place whose rays were as hot as a blazing fire. I felt I was dead. At the door, there were two angels wearing long black robes, carrying swords and hot rods guarding the gates of hell. I also said to Adonai Yeshua, Lord, 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 I'm afraid. And the Lord said, you don't have to be afraid because I'm with you, Rio. I walked into the gates of hell and the gates were open and I saw people who were being trampled underfoot and there were lots of demons who pounced on them. They were too late to repent in their lives. The Lord said again to me, look at the multitude of people in the world who did not repent even though they are Christians. We went through a very long tunnel. I saw many thousands of people who entered the tunnel of hell and were trampled, beaten, and cut. I cried in my heart, O oh God, am I a sinful man that I had quickly died? The Lord said to me again, Rio, Rio, Rio hurry up before your time runs out. And that voice was always heard in my ears. I arrived at a very vast expanse of the sea of fire. I saw women whose tongues and heads were cut off until their bodies became skeletons and were cut into pieces and plunged into the sea of very hot fire. Then I turned to the left to see my father, who died in 2007, and I wondered how come he is in a place like this. Lord, why is my papa in hell? Then the Lord answered again, Rio because your papa did not accept me as his Lord and Savior. Even though my father is a Hajj, that is, somebody who had performed the mandatory pilgrimage to Mecca. John 3:18. He that believeth in him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. As I looked to the right again, I saw my mother. My mother was in a dark place contemplating sadly and wearing torn black clothes. I asked the Lord, what's wrong with my mother, Lord? Isn't my mom still alive on earth? The Lord replied, that's right Rio, but she hasn't accepted me. Your mama's clothes are still dirty because of her sins. Tell her to accept me then she will be saved. 1 Timothy 5, 6. But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. Finally I was led out of the place, but on the way, I saw many souls burning in the valley of fire, their skins melted, and their skulls were visible. They were screaming for help. There was one person in the valley of fire who shouted, Please tell the people on earth, don't follow me, follow Yeshua. I am Muhammad, it's all my invention, I just wanted to be like him, but now I'm here. Tell everyone on earth, don't follow me. It was all a fabrication. Asterisk.
Then I was led out by Adonai Yeshua and I flew at a high speed to heaven. When I got to heaven, I saw the gates of heaven which were so beautiful and big guarded by two angels. I wanted to enter but was restrained by the two angels. One angel said to me, you can't enter because your clothes are dirty. We will change your clothes. Then in a flash, my clothes were changed into a white robe that was bright and beautiful. Finally, the gate was opened. I was greeted by many angels and saints. They said, Welcome to the kingdom of heaven. I saw an extraordinary sight. Streets made of gold, jewels, diamonds, so many houses, all of gold. At that time the Lord invited me to eat at a very long table. The Lord now wore a crown, and I saw Maria, the mother of Yeshua sitting next to him. Maria was as beautiful as a young woman. There were also many people at the table. After this, Adonai Yeshua said to me, Rio, follow me, I am the owner of the kingdom of heaven. I said to him, Yes Lord, I believe now. I will follow you. The Lord said, If you follow me, you will be expelled, tortured and reviled by your family, but do not be afraid because I am always with you, Rio. I said to him, Fine Lord, whatever happens, I will follow you. Then the Lord said, All right Rio, now is the time for you to return to earth again, and tell everyone what you have seen. Then I was like falling again to the earth and continued to my house, and to my room then I went back into my body. When I told my family, my family was immediately very angry. When I went to church, they found out. Then they tortured me, abused me, they beat me, kicked me, whipped me, I just kept quiet and said the name. Adonai Yeshua, but I then did not feel sick even though my body was injured. This went on until I was in junior high school. I was tortured when I went to church, until finally, they asked, Who is your God now, Rio? Answer. I firmly replied, Adonai Yeshua. The more I said Yeshua's name, the more I was tortured. Finally, my mother asked my uncle who had performed the pilgrimage to Mecca to expel the Christian demon that was inside of me. I dared to answer my mother, Mama, Adonai Yeshua is in me. Mama, even if you want to use holy water or even a powerful religious man, I'm not afraid. It won't work. My mother was angry and drove me out from home, and my mother disowned me as her son. Finally, I went from house to house in order to eat and sleep. I always meet with people who wanted to accommodate me. I believe that God has not left me for a second. Now I live with Maria Elizabeth and her brother who took me into their home. God brought me together in the church, those who were also former Muslims, who had the same background. Now I am also continuing my studies which had stopped because of my problem. Oh yeah, my uncle once said to my mother, there is a person in a white robe in Rio, a figure who cannot be defeated by anything and anyone. They were immediately confused because Rio could not be cured, turned back into a Muslim. This is my testimony. May Adonai Yeshua bless you. Muhammad admits that his teachings were merely his own invention. Bo Ra Choi, a Korean lady pastor in her testimony also heard Muhammad scream similar to the above. He regretted wanting to be like Yeshua and killing many people. Chahaya Vermanzia of Jakarta, Indonesia saw Muhammad in hell. He is there for writing another gospel beyond what the Bible teaches. Muhammad is a liar. He invented the Quran that was designed in hell. It was not the angel Gabriel who appeared to him but Satan who deceived him. Muhammad is in hell for being bloodthirsty and participating in the stoning. Five reasons the Quran is not the word of God David Wood. Dr. David Wood gives more than 10 Quran verses, including Surah 33, 37 38 Muhammad issued a verse to defend his own actions after he took his wife Zayd Muhammad's adopted son to be his wife. Surah 33, 53 Muhammad issued a verse, Allah instructed his people through the Prophet how to behave in visiting Muhammad's house.